Here's a rare video that I get to shoot the sand scroll twice within 30 minutes. So this is the uh, first time when I spot the squirrel. He's eating my peanut. He's finding more on the ground and look at him. Just eating my peanut, trying to find the peanut. Opening the window. I believe I spelled opening incorrect. There should only be one. And means I have to go back and edit in out the video. Successfully open the window. At this point, just have to wait for the scroll to settle down. It moves around uh, because I don't have a scope cane. We tried that before, it doesn't really work for a blowback or a break barrel rifle. It shakes. So this is an individual cannon camera and try to fo focus in. Okay. Now with the green laser. Gotta go back between the air rifle and the camera. Freaking busy as hell. Okay, look like he's stopping. Grab my chance. Stop moving. Now move the camera again. Get a green laser or dial in. Ready, set. Damn it, I missed it. I watch this slow mode. Boom! Missed just by a little. And the reason why was I was holding it really tight and the little box in front of me moved. So I end up have to fix this box if I wanna kill him again. You better get away. Run for your life. So from previous videos you guys saw I did this box, but I just lay on the table. So when you hold the gun really tight and you move the gun a little bit, the box moves too. So I sh earlier I shot a little high uh, due to I moved the box forward because I'm anticipating to uh, shoot. So I have to strap this box down now. And this is the old bungee cord I have in my truck. You can tell how shitty this bungee cord is, but it will do the job. Strap it to the table. Still too loose. But I have to fix again. This is my first try. You guys can tell in a minute. It didn't really work as well. But it's better than before. All the jumps I have. Look at that. Whole thing just shakes. So I end up going back and tear the whole thing down again. Really tie it down. So now it doesn't move. Let's get back to the shooting and less screwing around with this box. No more screwing around with the box. Stable and shoot. So we saw the squirrel with a stable box. This time it's eating the peanut. Let's get ready to shoot it. Does it move? Jump back to the air rifle. Adjust the green laser. And. Booyah! I believe it was a cheek or neck shot. Boom. But this squirrel, I have to say, it lived. So if you keep watching, 
I'm going to the side, surfing around. I was hoping to flip around and die like the other squirrel. But slowly, hiding behind the tree. And if you watch very careful how it gets down from the sidewalk, it's like it just falls down. It's definitely wounded somewhere by the neck or jar. The pellet is traveling at 900 FPS. So you see how that happened? I saw it was dead. So it probably went straight through its cheek. Most likely, it's, it will be dead by tonight. Um, most likely. Look at that. How can you survive that? So, I believe... Damn it. I should have shot it. When I had a second chance, but uh, I thought it was about to die. Instead, it crawled into the hole. Should have shoot it while it's sitting there. Not went into the cave. Like every other one's. So I wait a little longer and take a few more shots. See if I can scare the squirrel out of the hole. So currently, we have about three to four squirrels growing to the same spot in the last week or so. Just shot a pellet into the hole to see if I can drive it out. I think it's dead. Well, not really. Let's try again. Keep in mind, this is an after commentary, so the one voice you heard, that's in real time. <laughs> I'm not sure why I shot it. It's enough for it to limp along. You can hear it squeak. Basically, it's injured. So this was before I have a chance to take a look at the footage. Good shot. Anyways. Thanks for watching and subscribe, hit like. There's more video like this to come. Thanks, me too. Talk to you later.